Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about agent discovery in wireless network layer. This topic is present in the subject wireless networks. Agent discovery. A mobile node has to find a foreign agent and it moves away from its home network. To solve this problem, mobile IP describes two methods. They are agent advertisement and agent solicitation. Let us start discuss about agent advertisement. For this method, foreign agents and home agents advertise their presence periodically using special agent advertisement messages which are broadcast into the subnet. Mobile IP does not use a new type for agent advertisement. It uses the router advertisement packet of ICMP and appends an agent advertisement message. Let us see the agent advertisement representation with the help of a small diagram. And this is the representation of the agent advertisement. Let us see the agent advertisement in detail. The TTL field of the IP packet is set to 1 for all advertisements to avoid forwarding them. The type is set to 9. The code can be 0. If the agent also routes traffic from non-mobile nodes or 16. If it does not route any other anything other than mobile traffic. Now we discuss about agent advertisement address field. This is the representation of the address field. The number of addresses advertised with this packet is in hash addresses while the addresses themselves follow as shown. Lifetime denotes the length of time this advertisement is valid. Preference levels for each address help a node to choose the router that is the most eager one to get a new code. Representation of router address fields in agent advertisement structure. This is the representation of router addresses. Let us discuss the type, length, sequence number fields in agent advertisement structure. This is the structure of type, length and sequence number. The extension for mobility has the following fields defined. Type is set to 16. Length depends on the number of COAs provided with the message and equals 6 plus 4 star. That is number of addresses. The sequence number shows the total number of advertisements sent since initialization by the agent. We discuss the registration lifetime content field in agent advertisement. This is the representation of registration lifetime field. By the registration lifetime, the agent can specify the maximum lifetime in seconds a node can request during registration. Let us see the orbit representation in agent advertisement. The orbit that is the registration shows if a registration with this agent is required even when using a co-located COA at the MN that is mobile node. Now we see the B bit details in agent.
agent advertisement structure. If the agent is currently too busy to accept new registrations, it can set B bit, that is busy bit. Let us discuss the H bit, F bit details in agent advertisement structure. The following two bits denote if the agent offers services as a home agent capital H or foreign agent capital F on the link where the advertisement has been sent. Let us discuss the M bit G bit fields in agent advertisement structure. Bits capital M and capital G specify the method of encapsulation used for the tunnel while IP in IP encapsulation is the mandatory standard. Capital M specify minimal encapsulation and capital G specifies generic routing encapsulation. Let us see the V bit field in agent advertisement. In the first version of the mobile IP, that is RFC 2002, the VBIT specified the use of header compression according to RFC 1144. Now, the field small r at the same bit position is set to 0 and must be ignored. CARA address field in agent advertisement. A foreign agent is setting the capital F bit must advertise the host at least one COA. A mobile node in the subnet can now receive agent advertisements from either its home agent or a foreign agent. This is one way for the MN to discover its location. Care of address fields in agent advertisement structure. The following fields contain the care of addresses advertised. Let us discuss agent solicitation. If no advertisements are present or the inter-arrival time is too high and an MN that is mobile node has not received a care of address by other means, the mobile must send agent solicitations. Care must be taken to ensure that these solicitation messages do not flood the network. But an MN can search for a FA endlessly sending out solicitation messages. If a node does not receive an answer to its solicitations, it must decrease the rate of solicitations to avoid flooding the network until it reaches a maximum interval between solicitations. Discovering a new agent can be done anytime, not just if the MN is not connected to one. After these steps of advertisements or solicitations, the MN can receive a care of address, either one foreign FA or a co-located COA. The MN known its location and the capabilities of the agent. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means you can share this video to your friends.